शरीर पोषणार्थी सन यह आत्मानम दिद्रक्षति ग्राहम दारुधिया दृत्वा नदीम तर्तुम सगच्छति A person who wants to see the Atman, one who wants to realize the self, दिद्रक्षति a person who wants to realize the self one's true nature so mumuksha is mokto miccha the desire to get free mumuksha the desire to drink or the need to drink thirst is called pipasa the desire to eat is called bubuksha the desire to know is called jignyasa similarly the desire to see is called didriksha so a person who is desirous of realizing one's self knowing one's true personality that person has to earlier also it has been told in various verses in this text vivek chudamani that that person has to control one's inner sense organs and outer sense organs have forbearance have the dispassion from sense objects and also have constant discernment what is true what is untrue all these things this person should do constantly to see one's true self to understand one's true self that person has to do that and only by doing that will that person will be able to see one's self but if some people they do sharira poshanarthi they are sharira poshanarthi san they are people who nourish the body arthi those who are desirous of devoted to sharira poshana sharira body portion of nourishment or cultivation or the maintenance of body so if a person is interested in knowing god or realizing oneself but at the same time is engaged in the nourishment of the body so how can somebody be engaged in the nourishment of the body first thing is to keep the body healthy second is to keep the body beautiful keep the body good in good smell always and then also cover the body with good clothes then ensure that the body is in a good place where there is less of heat less of cold <coughs> wonderful climate so if the climate is not like that make the climate like that inside the room and also eat good food food which causes you more satisfaction sharira portion this is called the nourishment of body if somebody does this and also why would you do all these things to the body if you are not going to use the body by enjoying the senses so enjoy the senses go to all places on earth and also do all indulge in all kinds of sense enjoyments 
a person who does this can that person realize god can that person realize self that person cannot realize self that is why shankaracharya says if a person is engaged in the nourishment of body and at the same time wants to realize one's self that person is like whom a person who wants to cross the river nadi tartum wants to cross a river by graham darudiya by catching hold of a crocodile graham <coughs> graha and uh, thinking of, uh, that to be a log of wood daru so mistaking crocodile to be a log of wood if somebody catches it and thinks that i will cross the ocean uh, cross the river what will happen person will not cross the river crocodile will of course after eating that person will cross the river and go and take rest on the bank so that is what will happen this person will not cross the river but <coughs> holding on to this crocodile the person is thinking that i will cross the river so because in spiritual life body is necessary you have to keep body free from disease and in a working condition so that you can and mind also you should keep like that no person who is suffering from a mental disease can progress in spiritual life but showing that as a reason people say yes i have to take care of body in sanskrit there is a proverb sharira sharira madhyam khalu dharma sadhanam all of you are looking at me as i have done something wrong <laughs> शरीरम धर्मम खलु धर्म शरीर मध्यम खलु धर्म साधन खलु इंडीड शरीर दिस बॉडी इज फर्स्ट मीन ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस वाई बिकॉज अनलेस यू हैव प्रॉपर बॉडी इफ यू सिट एंड यू हैव पेन इन द नीज सो योर माइंड विल ऑटोमेटिकली गो टू द नीज विल नॉट गो टू द गॉड गो टू गॉड और गो टू द चोजन आइडल आइडियल सो यूर body should be taken care of so people say many people say maharaj we need body for you know spiritual life so what do we do we take care of body whole day we are since if you see most of our time is spent in bedroom bathroom and dining room more than half of your time is spent half full of your time is spent in that hmm? so bedroom means you sleep so considerable time goes in sleep then bathroom the moment somebody gets up they go to the bathroom and then they do so many things uh, people are always you call somebody nowadays either they are in a bathroom or they are in puja if somebody doesn't want to talk to you they will either be in bathroom or in puja abhi ab bhai sahab bathroom mein hai theek hai baad mein phone kiya to bhai sahab puja mein hai so they do puja for one i just wonder if a person does puja for one hour what kind of person that person will be such a devoted person he is not doing puja doesn't want to talk to you so this bathroom you go into bathroom then you go out somewhere come again bathroom then you are going out about to go out again bathroom so much of time goes into cultivation of the body and then this is just taking care of the uh, physical body then to keep the body in proper shape you go to a shop and some people cannot even decide what soap to purchase because there is so much confusion also so many soaps every soap is telling that we are the best and if you use our soap you will become like aishwarya rai or something so people are all confused which soap to and maybe the same aishwarya rai is becoming the model for two three brands so so much confusion which to use then you have shampoo then you have cream then you see in winter some places that skin gets charred you see so for that you have to use some cream but people will go for so many creams and if some people's bathroom you see it is like a beauty parlor all kinds of creams are there shampoo is there etc 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 horrible they are so shameless they don't even think 
we are spending so much time and energy and money on just this body mm. and one fever comes that fellow's per that person's face you cannot see <laughs> it will become like that just one fever is sufficient uh, so what so there, there was this one um, email doing rounds in internet that this person without makeup and this person with makeup all the famous bollywood stars they put without of course women mainly <laughs> but <laughs> but without makeup with makeup without makeup with makeup men like that huh? men also men also that is why that the saloons are there where you go and men also go for all these kind of thing and then you have saloons where you um, all uh, people men and women can go unisex saloon so this all these things happen why because you are concentrated on the body because you think you are convinced that you are the body you are the body so what is enjoyment you see any bollywood movie uh, uh, any hollywood movie what is enjoyment for them what is highest bliss for them and that two people two bodies come together that is the highest bliss that is the, the end they cannot even conceive of anything higher than that so what is bliss you are eating an ice cream and so nice i got this ananda state people talk like that such stupid things people do say and they say that i came to this place and mountains and so this is all physical thing it has got nothing to do with spirituality but people confuse this why because whatever good i get on the body and mind level that is what i think is the ultimate because i consider myself to be body and mind body and mind so if someone does like that what will happen that person will be eaten by crocodile that means if you have a wrong idea of your own self then which self will you realize if you have a wrong idea of what god is how can you realize god you cannot realize god you cannot realize god that is what is being told here so if you have a wrong idea graham daru dhiya dritva nadi tartum sagachati so if a person holds on to crocodile thinking it to be uh, uh, what uh, holds on to a crocodile thinking it to be a log of wood then that will not help so this is what most of the people are doing how in ishavasya upanishad the first mantra of ishavasya upanishad is ishavasya midam sarvam यत किंच जगत्याम जगत ओनली वन पर्सन नोस नोबडी नोस द गैप मींस यू शुड फिल द गैप नो तेन त्यक्तेन भुंजिता माग्रद कस्यस्वित धनम सो देयर शंकराचार्य सेस व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस भुंजिता भुंज धातु और द रूट भुंज इन संस्कृत यूजुअली मींस फॉर भोगा और एन्जॉयमेंट बट देयर शंकराचार्य सेस तेन त्यक्तेन भुंजिता you have to give up this idea of anything impermanent in this world and you have to isha vasyam you have to cover this whole universe with god you have to cover isha vasyam means you have to do it you have to cover the whole universe with god tena tyaktena bunjita and you have to yat kincha jagatyam jagat whatever in this universe in this jagat is jagatyam Uh, uh, means whatever jagat has got two meanings here one is whatever in this universe and is impermanent jagat moving changing that has to be covered with god or with brahman and tena tyaktena and giving up that impermanent idea you have to bunjita you have to in shankaracharya's commentary it is told paleta you have to protect yourself your true personality of atman has to be protected so if you have to attain god if you have to realize yourself then you have to give up the idea that you are the body that you are something which is changing yat kincha jagatyam jagat whatever in this universe jagatyam is jagat impermanent that you have to give up that idea you have to give up and you have to 
understand that you are something which is not changing. You are not changing. So now you are small boy. Afterwards, when you will t become big, you will uh, have a family, and then you will take the photograph of this stage, and then you will say, "Kothai ami kothai." People do that. They will say, "Find out where am I." So your face has changed, your body has changed, everything has changed, but you have not changed. You are the same person. So whatever is changing is not your personality. That we should understand. And so if you understand that. then why are you wasting time on what is changing you whatever cream you apply your face will become horrible after some time why do you waste your time on that so just make yourself in such a way that other people will not get some smell when they come near your body that's all basic but more than that what is the necessity and nowadays people want to do this they go to gurus who say oh enjoy your life and don't worry we are there just like doctors say you enjoy whatever you want to eat you eat and we are there we will take care similarly gurus say modern gurus you do whatever you want so there is this great guru who came to this earth huh? can anyone tell his cenotaph reads when cenotaph means when somebody is you know what is a cenotaph right no when somebody is buried on that they will write something no that is called a cenotaph so that reads that he visited this planet earth from this to this who is this can anyone tell me ha huh? ha ah, osho so osho is a wonderful person actually and about him raganath anji said that he is such an intelligent person very intelligent person and because of him immediately he told first line is he is a very intelligent person he was a very intelligent person and because of him many people's life has been destroyed yes <laughs> so you can understand how intelligent he is so osho who was earlier called rajneesh who was a professor of philosophy and he studied all the philosophies and then what devil quotes the scriptures he took so many good ideas from everywhere particularly from zen buddhism and he speaks so nice it, if you hear his cassettes and all that so wonderful and mesmerizing charming and all that outer thing should be there outer thing should be very nicely made so now also so many gurus are there you see their outer thing will be nice they will have a daddy ramkrishna mission sadhus don't have any daddy so what useless people don't even have a daddy that is the idea in fact long back one person wrote in one uh, newspaper that what is this swamis of ramkrishna mission they shave they don't have daddy uh, in a leading newspaper somebody wrote like that so this this is one thing you should have daddy then you should have an image and you should sit and immediately you should start flying or something this is what you should have and then you should be able to tell something in a different voice if you if i talk like you talk what is the difference so it's be like hmm. all these stage management should be done ha uh, you should be doing that and you should tell what people like but package it and then call it something and after that four or five letters will be there above there will be one thing called r you know what is that no registered so there are so many things which are registered trademark other people cannot use it if you use it you will be filed uh, you uh, uh, suit will be filed against you people will file a case against you this is what is happening and don't charge anything less than 10000 rupees hmm. like there is a big uh, pandal and in that 30000 people are sitting and everyone has paid 10000 rupees to attend that they can't even see the speaker but 10000 rupees so then it is and people also go ah oh, maraj they are giving quality why because they are doing it in taj and they are charging 10000 rupees so it is quality and ramkrishna mission what some useless auditorium you are conducting and this people say this openly so that is not the quality so there is a quality so what i tell is if you give ramkrishna mission 10000 why 10000 rupees you give 2000 rupees we will conduct it in a better venue than this taj 
maybe the we may go outside also outside india we can fly and we do but that is not the point the point is the content so this osho he said that monasticism is not necessary hmm but people don't read that people once a swami argued with me oh you are saying that osho did tell wrong how did he become so famous then again i gave the argument that martin michael jackson is also famous britney spears is also famous they are not spiritual so osho he said that monasticism is not necessary brahmacharya is not necessary celibacy is not necessary and wonderfully he said for which he became very popular that you enjoy your uh, body uh, and by that you can go and attain god through that you can attain god so such ridiculous things if it were true christianity would have told it buddhism would have told it hinduism would have told it jainism sikhism so many religions for so many centuries they would have already found it out but nobody found it out because swami ji says you cannot worship both god and mammon both god and mammon both bhagavan or shaitan both you cannot worship together so you can either go behind mammon or you can go behind god both you cannot do so many youngsters they lose their lives following such idiot idiotic people and not one person has been produced from that tradition not one mahapurush has been produced so people say no that all oh, oh, this so all these great modern day gurus they have not produced one if it is true in their tradition following their path one mahapurusha should be produced one who could be like what is told in the second chapter of bhagavad gita that who is dukkheshu anudvigna mana sukheshu vigatas praha one who is unattached in um, happiness and one who is unperturbed undisturbed in misery not one and see how many great stalwarts have been produced in ramkrishna mission so many people know this in their heart of hearts but they can't follow so they want to take an excuse and go to such stupid people what is that it is holding on to a crocodile thinking it to be a log of wood waste of time nothing will come out of it not only that it will only create a bad example for people who come in touch with you so if you have to go if this is viveka chudamani this is the crest jewel of discernment so if you have to go towards god you will have to give up all sensory enjoyments <coughs> you will have to give up all sensory pleasures you will have to give up all sensual desires and if anybody says that it is not necessary that person does not know what that person is talking about this as simple as that <coughs> you take any kind of mahapurusha you take ramana maharshi you take neem karori baba you take uh, what is this uh, the other person um, neem karori baba then then the other person uh, nisargadatta maharaj so many people have come to this world great spiritual giants nobody says that if you follow spiritual uh, if you follow sensory enjoyments you will get god nobody said that who says that people who have a doubtful background people who don't know what they are doing and who want to have just to come in tv channels have some trp ratings and tell something which is wrong just outside glitter outside glitter and that will never produce true spirituality and it happens everywhere a person when swami uh, shri ram krishna so nicely says when you see a sadhu who is wearing rudraksha mala outside when you see a sadhu who is wearing khadam you know what is khadam and when you see a sadhu who is having that kamandalu and all don't believe that sadhu <laughs> but what do people say see that is a sadhu see is not wearing our all this ram krishna mission swami is they wear all this shoes this swami is not wearing so nice sadhu and rudraksha and tilak and dadi and all that is to cheat you that is to cheat you that person is wearing and so in our order if somebody is having bed immediately the senior will tell go and shave because you want to show to people that you are a great mahapurusha 
you want to create some kind of thing for you. No. If you are a Mahapurusha, you should become a Mahapurush by your spiritual life, by your behavior, not by external all these kinds of paraphernalia. So that is what is necessary. So we should not Sharira Poshanarathi. We should not be protecting body, but we should be protecting Atman. We should be protecting our true nature, which is not body. Which is not body. That we should protect. And the more and more we protect, the more and more we will understand that our true nature is not dependent on this. And also, we will be we will be saved from getting caught in this uh, in this worldly no um, quicksand worldly mud we will not be caught if we think of ourselves as not being the body and then you can see this so it's like that a person um, about monkeys it is told that a monkey uh, there is a slippery tree or a pole and a monkey is going up two steps coming down four steps so how will that monkey progress it cannot progress here also that is what happens if we think ourselves to be body we will go two steps forward and we will come down four steps come back four steps so that will not happen in the same Vivek Chudamani later on there is a beautiful imagery beautiful example of Keli Kandukaha means uh, playing ball, ball, like cricket ball. So if you put this ball um, in steps, staircase, what will happen? On the first toss, it will go, say, one step down. Second toss, it will go two steps down. Third toss, it will go four steps. So it will then eight steps like that. So Lakshat Chutam, if somebody is deflected from one's ideal, first that mistake will be less, then the mistake will be more gross, grosser, 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 it will go like that. Sopana Pantau Patita Yatha Tatha, just like Keli Kandukaha, a ball falls from a staircase, just like that your mind will cause you, a mind which is deflected from the chosen ideal, Lakshya, from the aim, will be like that. So, First time when you tell lie, you feel very bad. Second time you tell, you feel less bad. Then, then it becomes a habit with you. Then you, are, you have to tell lie every time. That is what is being told here. That if you lose focus of your goal, if you want to didriksha, if you have the desire to attain the knowledge of Atman and you are losing focus, and you are catching on to a crocodile thinking that this will give me happiness or this will lead me to Atman, then that will not lead you to Atman. Nadi Tartum Sagachati. Because that will not help you to cross the ocean. It will only make you die in between. And that is what happens, you see. When you think of yourself as the body and mind, your body and mind will not allow you to do anything. See, if you are thinking of yourself as the body and mind and there is some good thing to enjoy. Say, some people say that let us go to uh, some water park. And uh, your family says, let us go to water park. And then you know that you have to go to some ashrama also. Automatically, if you think of yourself as mind and body, then your mind will not allow you to go to the ashrama. Say, you are a reputed doctor and then your uh, family is telling let us go to this party or to the restaurant and then you want to go to some other place say a temple or an ashrama but no because you think that you are the body because you want to maintain the society reputation in society you will not go your body will not allow your mind will not allow you to go to that ashrama or to sit and meditate in your room. It will not allow. Because what will people say? Because people see only your body. What your body is doing. And you are bothered about what people will think of your body. So what people will say? 
so you will not do that similarly for taking bribe you will have to take bribe to do some bad work you will have to do because you are the body and people around you are wanting you to do that because if you don't do your body will not be in comfort so a doctor will have to take commission so whole thing small by slowly slowly bit by bit your entire focus will be gone away so if you think that no body is not the be all and end all of life money because money provides for the body is not be all and end all of life then and only then you will be able to realize god or you will be able to progress in spiritual life om shanti 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 hari om tat sat